What are the top 10 states everyone is moving to? And why is everybody moving to them? Well, that's what we're gonna find out right now in this video. So beginning with the events in 2020, I'm pretty sure you'll agree that a lot of the norms that we were used to got turned upside down, shaken up and spit out in new ways that even today we're still having to adjust to. And one of those big things that got changed up is where we could live and make a home and life for us and our families. Traditionally, people have moved states when they retire, a job transfer to take advantage of a new opportunity or to be closer to or farther away from specific family and friends. But 2020 introduced a lot of us to remote work. No longer did we have to go into an office or workplace for our job, but we could work from home or really anywhere we wanted. And this opened up the possibility of living anywhere you thought you could make a better life for you and your family. And people have been taking advantage of this opportunity like crazy. And the past couple of years, people have been migrating across the country to new states and areas that they would never have even thought about before. And the remote work phenomenon seems to be with us permanently. So this trend is continuing with no end in sight. So where is everyone moving? So let's get moving. Number 10, Idaho. Bordering the ultra expensive West Coast states of Oregon and Washington and close to California, Idaho has been a top destination for people relocating from these states and for good reason. Idaho is one of the most beautiful states with its stunning landscapes and diverse natural attractions like the Sawtooth National Forest, Shoshone Falls, Hell's Canyon, and Craters of the Moon National Monument. Outside of the more urban areas like the super popular Boise or Coeur d'Alene on the western side of the state, the landscape is littered with dense, beautiful forests and tens of thousands of acres of farmland that make it a popular destination for those relocating from the more busy and city-centric states like California. And of course, with all this natural beauty, if outdoor recreation is your thing, whether hiking, camping, fishing, boating, hunting, or some great skiing, then Idaho may be a fantastic place to call home. Number nine, Delaware. Delaware has become a hotspot, especially for those moving from some of the other New England states to escape some of the drawbacks of those areas, while still being able to take advantage of the trappings of the East Coast lifestyle. Delaware has a booming economy, ranked number five in the nation. So even if you're not going to be working remotely, chances are you will be able to find a good paying job here and take advantage of the state's low tax rates, which is also a big draw of people choosing this as their relocation destination. On top of that, the median price of a home sits right around $315,000 significantly less than the national average and certainly less than places that people are moving from like Massachusetts, where the median single family home price is still north of $700,000. Number eight, Maine. Similar to Delaware, which is south of the New England states, to the north, Maine has become the other alternative for the exodus from those high tax, high pressure areas. Maine has a lot of the same things that New Englanders have become used to. A true four season weather pattern with some of the most beautiful falls that you will ever see. But while having a lot of the things that people love about New England, it is a little bit slower pace of life, a little more genial, a little more relaxed than say a place like Boston. But one thing that is strikingly different than a place like Boston is the crime. Coming in at number four in the nation for its crime and safety ranking, it is also in the top tier for education and healthcare and is ranked number eight in the country for quality of life. And you get all of these benefits at quite a discount. While Massachusetts ranks number 48 in affordability, Maine comes in at a very respectable number 28. And if you're keeping that Boston area salary working remotely, that means moving to Maine could make your dollar go a heck of a lot farther. 
It's no wonder that for many who want to still stay New England, but don't want to live in Boston and the surrounding areas, that Maine is the destination of choice. Number seven, Nevada. Nevada is really a tale of two towns, Reno and the Las Vegas area. And while it is a good sized state, those are really the only two areas that are of interest for most looking to move here. And these areas have been and continue to be booming. Las Vegas, even with the current interest rate run-ups, continues as the number two destination for people relocating and for good reason. Number one, the state of Nevada has no state income tax. So if you're moving from a high tax state like California, where the top rate can be above 13%, then a jump over to Nevada could mean an instant pay raise. And number two, again, for those moving from a state like California, where the median home price can be higher than $800,000, the relative affordability of beautiful homes in some of the more desirable areas like Summerlin, Centennial Hills, and the city of Henderson, which has been ranked number two safest mid-sized city in the country, then it becomes a no-brainer. Four hours away from the beach, four hours away from Disneyland, and also four hours away from the homeless encampments, human feces, and general craziness of that state on tilt. All while having access to entertainment, shopping, and culinary adventures galore of the Las Vegas Strip that draws more than 45 million visitors a year. Number six, Tennessee. Moving and shaking more than the king himself, Elvis, Tennessee has been drawing in new residents faster than the flies in July. And this massive influx of new residents has certainly driven up the cost of housing in the hot spots like Nashville and the surrounding suburbs. But the rest of this beautiful state still has some great places to live and still very affordable. In fact, it ranks number three in the nation for affordability. On top of having lots of natural beauty, if you're a music fan, then this should be on your radar. I mean, come on, not only do you have the king, Elvis Presley's Graceland to visit, uh -huh, you've got all of Nashville to explore. The Grand Ole Opry, the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Man in Black, Johnny Cash's Museum, to go along with the hundreds of lively honky-tonk bars and nightlife. But it doesn't only happen at night. You can spend your days recreating outdoors along the Appalachian Trail or at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And if you're really daring, there's always country music queen, Dolly Parton's Dollywood to go and get down at. Number five, Georgia. With a strong 16th ranked economy and a number 10 on the list of states with the most opportunity to get ahead, Georgia is indeed quite a peach. Outside of the big cities of Atlanta and Savannah, where there's a lot of economic and job opportunities, Georgia offers something for everyone. Beaches, yep, Georgia has them. Hiking and outdoors, they got those too. In fact, you want some great hikes, those Blue Ridge Mountains have some of the best. But if the beaches and the outdoors aren't your thing, then step on into Atlanta, where there's nightlife for days in places like Buckhead. You want sports? They've got it all year round from the Falcons to the Braves and the Hawks. And to afford all of that fun in the city, there's plenty of opportunity from Fortune 500 companies like Coca-Cola, Home Depot and Delta Airlines to a strong tech and healthcare sector that employs and is actively looking for more employees every year. Number four, North Carolina. North Carolina has been booming in recent years, and most of it boils down to work, family, and weather being the major factors. For work, you have the Research Triangle, located between Durham, Chapel Hill, and Raleigh. That is a hub for tech and research jobs and home to more than 200 different companies, hiring tens of thousands of people every year. And in Charlotte, you have a huge banking and finance sector to go along with the strong healthcare and manufacturing and education sectors. So whether you're moving because you can work remotely or you're just looking for greener pastures, there are economic opportunities galore in North Carolina. And overall, not only will you have economic opportunity, you'll also have those dollars go farther. The affordability ranking for North Carolina is a solid number 19. 
and their median home price is about 10% cheaper than the national average. Number three, South Carolina. Now our number three is really made up of a couple of really hot areas, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and even Hilton Head. And people are flocking to South Carolina for a lot of different reasons. Especially since 2020, people have been leaving the cities and moving to South Carolina to get a lot more green space for them and their families. Not content to live in a concrete jungle, people are getting to the throwback era of having a home on a nice sized piece of land with sprawling greenery and a surrounding landscape to match. And South Carolina just does not disappoint. And if blue is more your color and you want to move close to the beach, then Myrtle Beach and Hilton Head may be right up your alley, offering a more affordable cost of living for a beach community than many other similarly situated coastal areas. On top of that, you get that real Southern feel. Living in the area with its rich history and still standing architecture, you can sometimes get that whole genteel feeling of a bygone era, minus the whole slavery thing, of course. South Carolina, especially in the more populated areas, is a diverse mix, regardless of where we all started from, and it shows up in the warmth of the still present Southern hospitality, and even more so in the food, where you will find all the Southern favorites from shrimp and grits, she crab soup, and of course, barbecue. Number two, Florida. Long a hot spot, pun intended, for retirees, especially from the Northeast, since 2020, Florida has had a big run on inbound migration from the younger demographics as well, especially families looking to escape some of the more restrictive government edicts. Florida was a shining beacon for folks looking for a bit more freedom and independence. Of course, it doesn't hurt that you are surrounded by sandy beaches and coastline in a tropical climate with a near endless summer. And add on top of that, a strong and growing economy, a number four ranking for quality of life. It's almost no surprise that Florida is so high on the list. It really appears that for many, Florida has taken over the most favored position that California had a chokehold on for so many years. And our number one state where everyone is moving, Texas. Turns out you don't need a 10 gallon hat and a horse to move to Texas nowadays. For most who are making the move, it just turns out that you need to be fed up with the governmental policies and high prices of where you currently live to take the plunge. As a state with a more conservative bend to it than a lot of neighboring states, Texas seems to be attracting a lot more new residents who are bringing with them their values of freedom and independence when choosing here as their new home. Of course, it doesn't hurt that there is no state income tax and the relative price of homes is so much more reasonable than the states people are fleeing from, that the population has swelled over the last couple of years. When you can find a 4,000 square foot beautiful newer home on a half acre lot for the same price you can buy a three bed, one one bath, 1,300 square foot single family home in an okay-ish neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley in LA, you can see why so many Californians and others in outrageous states are flocking to the wide open possibilities of Texas. It seems like a no-brainer to me and why Texas is our number one. If you like this list of the 10 states everybody is moving to, you need to check out this video going through the 10 states everyone is leaving to see where people are fleeing. And while you're at it, make sure to hit subscribe to see all of our deep dives on all the areas of our big, beautiful country. Remember, we're all in this together. Thanks for watching. The Relocation King out.